to install that. Let me show you how it works. You put the product, the material, the supplies, whatever, that gets touched all the time and can't get washed with soap and water without degrading, like colored pencils or oil pastels or all of the other stuff that we use on a normal, everyday, regular basis in a hands-on art classroom. Put them in your basket. I'm sure you could use whatever basket size you have. And again, for durability and UV exposure, I got metal. Um, put your product in. Close the doors. You could use your key lock if you wanted to. Come on over here, Tom. And then you select the time that you want it to go. This model of UVC light has a timer. I could do 5, 15, 30, or 60 minutes. I anticipate most things will be taking about 15 minutes to sanitize completely, but that's why we're doing the bread experiment. Um, so I'm going to set my last experiment in. Um, We've got a piece of bread that nobody raspberried on and nobody touched. All the rest of our bread has been raspberried on by my husband, myself, and my two children. And this one was not exposed to UV light. This one was exposed for 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. And the one in here is now going to be exposed for 60 minutes. And we will see the growth in bacteria and all of that later. Um, so I had to buy all of the materials new. Um, I didn't have a metal cabinet. You don't want to use plastic. Uh, UV degrades plastic. So I bought a new cabinet. It was, I think, $130 with next day shipping. Um, I bought the rack 
and the baskets and a six pack of reflective spray paint and all together uh, with the UV lights cost under around about $300. Um, but here's the thing, the reason I'm doing this is because most schools have something like this sitting around. Most art teachers can easily, oops, I can't open it right now, mm -hmm. can easily get to that storage rack, the chrome wire thing. Those are easily found things. The, the adaptations to make large items get sanitized without using soap and water, or in addition to doing it, are the reflective paint and the UVC light. And why UVC? UVA and UVB don't throw off the nanometer wavelengths that sanitize the coronavirus. Now, unfortunately, I don't have some coronavirus sitting around that I can test. Um, I am looking for labs or the county health department to help me in experimenting with the efficacy of this UVC light in this cabinet to destroying or inactivating the coronavirus. Um, what I can test on are my, my poor family, whom I love dearly, and, <laughs> and are willing to raspberry onto some bread for me. Um, let's see, other things. It doesn't get hot. This is nice and cool. There's no warmth. There's no heat coming off of this. There's no ozone. I didn't want to be exposed to ozone gas in my classroom, should this get approved. And what else? There's no smell. There's no gas. There's just the UVC inside the box. So there are a couple of places where I'm going to have to go through with a little bit of weather stripping, and I haven't even done that yet. But you can see, let me, I don't know, between the door and the terrible paint job here that I didn't mask off. Um, you can see a little bit of the light bouncing through, maybe. I don't know. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. No. Definitely at that corner um, here where that seam is, remember? Mm -hmm. So there are things here and there that need to be touched up. But I think the key to using this correctly is keep it away from the students. Don't let the students use it. Don't turn it on when the doors are open and have it on a timer in the first place. Um, you have to use UVC. It's the only thing that will kill the viruses. It's the only thing that hospitals use for this. Um, don't buy the LED ones that claim to be the UVC. You have to get the exact nanometers. And I've referenced that research in the materials list and directions on how to make this. And was it hard to get those lamps? No, they were on Amazon. They were available in Prime. For how much? Uh, $36.77. So if somebody had a file cabinet like this sitting in a storage room somewhere and a wire rack sitting in a storage room somewhere, they could make something like this for... Maybe $60 with the paint and the lamp. So I want art teachers and all the other teachers to keep working and I want us to be safe. You, If you're going to do this, work with your admin, talk to your risk management people and make sure you look through that research that I posted up there for you. Do not cheap out and get the wrong materials. You will just be fooling yourself into thinking that something's sanitized. Um, what other questions? How long did it take? If I had everything here and started the build, even building the cabinet, um, four hours, maybe? Yeah, give or take. Give or take. Part of that was just waiting for the paint to dry. Waiting for the paint to dry. <laughs> um, I think the tricky part was drilling a hole through the back mm -hmm. to put the wire Yeah, through. so tools needed were a power drill. A power drill uh, with a what was that, a half inch metal bit for drilling holes, mm -hmm. and a burr removing bit, mm -hmm. or you could use a hand one. 
Um, you, we also used a file to get the sharp edges off of the hole that we cut through it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you've ever put together any sort of IKEA furniture, you could probably do this. Definitely with a friend who knows how to use tools. Okay. I, I don't have any other questions. Okay. I guess our only other question is, what's going to happen to the bread? Yeah. And I have a question. If you know somebody who can help me with the testing of this, specifically for coronavirus exposure, please contact me. Um, I've already shelled out my allowance for the month in <laughs> purchasing the materials and enough time putting this together. I'm happy to work with any lab locally in Southern California to test the efficacy of this project. Remember, it's a prototype. I'm not making any money off of this. I'm not intending to sell you on anything. I want you to do your research. And part of that would be testing the actual virus. Um, but, I don't know, throw me your questions, read through the materials I posted, and I hope that whatever you decide and your district decides for you will work out to be the safest thing for you, for your students, and it will keep you from getting any sort of serious sickness. Thank you.